awaited yes. revision what about partition yes partition do we have time today shall i continue partition and stop revision yes sir also i got uh-huh. the same question one second sir i got a question what i got a question sai we didn't cover aggregations today we covered no next week we'll cover partitions that's okay. it right oh. Oh. i'll not escape shall i cover partition revision will go off shall we no oh. no yeah i'll not leave anything okay need not need not to ask a point i'll definitely cover it yeah okay. now okay. have a check now have a check folks now itself i am telling you today's revision will go till 7 10 ten. 10 ten minutes extra okay but i need all of you to remind me remember one i am giving the last chance of 10 to 15 seconds if anyone wants to leave leave immediately immediately wrap and wrap and leave 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 10 seconds i am giving but if you are leaving after 10 sec 10 seconds till 7 10 i'll definitely not have you in the batch 10 seconds folks that's a final chance use it if you want yeah let's this be the final list anyone from those two universities kindly don't join my team during the break time gomathi convent informed that we are, we still have 21 people kindly kindly leave including the srm university folks uh, sorry satyabhama university folks we should have actually the count is 460 or 470 but if i am getting more than 460 or 470 obviously those two university folks has joined so kindly please consider those two university folks kindly leave yeah now please concentrate here folks for the next one hour i'll do the execution you just do along with me like i i just watch in my screen the task this week is obviously the revision the next one hour we are going to see completely the spark revision by end of this session you will feel that okay something we have done great got it all of you yes Sorry. one minute yeah i remove the topic which we have not covered yet now partitions and mores have removed for for now in our current slide so that after that we'll get to know by next week the partitions and the right mores now please concentrate here folks with respect to today's revision first we'll start with quite theory then squared list iterations then rdds schema rdds row rdds data frame operations every slide i'll give you 30 seconds time maybe it depends on the question watch it analyze it and give me the solution totally we have 15 execution slides 15 execution slides clear all of you so far yes, yes. concentrate concentrate the first slide is going to be purely a theory read it and have answers with you i will straight away take the topic right check this is the first theory theory only the first theory slide we have please watch and i'll start answering it see whether my my answer is matching your your answer Lady. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's analyze everything you have to analyze. All of you are ready. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
Let's get started, folks. Why is Spark is faster? I'll answer. Spark works under lazy evolution with respect to the in-memory computation. Spark will not hit the hard disk by any means. Because Spark works under lazy evolution. Correct, all of you? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is lazy evolution? Till the action is triggered, none of the transformation takes place in Spark. What is eliminated in Spark? Hitting the data to hard disk is eliminated in Spark. In how many ways we can process data in Spark? Two ways. RDDs and data frames. What is an RDD? Resilient distributed data set in which it is an inbuilt class using Spark context. We call out the methods to process the data. What is used to iterate in Spark RDD? Lambda. Which jar is used to have RDD operation? Spark core jar. Which jar is used for data frame operation? Can anyone tell me that? It is? Spark SQL. Spark SQL. Spark SQL. Spark SQL. Spark SQL. Mm -hmm. Spark SQL. What is starting point of RDD? That means the class name. Class name. Spark context. Spark context. Spark context. Spark context. Spark context. Context. What about data frame? Spark. Spark. What is default format file format of Spark? Spark. Spark. Did I mention that already? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I didn't use a format, right? When I'm reading Spark, right? Simple. File format supported by Spark. CSV, Spark, ORC, and JSON. What is seamless data frame read formula? Spark read format options low. Format options low. Seamless data frame write formula. write format options. Options Format option. Mode save. Mode save. Right, right, all of you. Everyone remember this theory part. Yes. Yes. That's it, folks. Let me flush out all the eclipse part. Let's get ready for the hands on. I'll show slide. Depending on the slide, I'll give some time. Analyze it and tell me. First few slides would be quite easier. Actual slides get started slower. Analyze it. Have some good time. Think logically and answer me. Ready, all of you? Shall we get started? Yes. yes. First slide. Analyze it. One sec, folks. Yeah, let's get started here. Let's use this slide, okay? Same theory questions, no change. It's the same theory. But I have written answers here and use this slide. First hands on slide, folks. Everyone got your answer in mind? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. yes. Let's create a list with 1467. Val, listen list. is equal to, Equals to list, list of, of 1467. Totally four elements we have here. Four. Totally four elements we have here. Not for each. Right? Now I'm just commenting this out. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, for now. Now, Listen how can I print, print this list, raw list? For each dot for each printer. Printer. This how I print the list. First normal list, folks. This is my list. I have to iterate each element. I have to add two for it. How to do it? Well, lambda, 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 lambda,
Folks, what is the lambda operator? You need to understand. Lambda has x lambda x. X should be an accumulator. This x would be iterator. First element would come, get added, and gets accumulated. Second will come, gets added, added and accumulated. Six added and seven. So have okay. a check here, folks. Yeah, Listen list dot for each. And, and list for each print alert. Now concentrate. Each element will be accumulated and gets a addition to. What is operation I'm using here? Tell me. It's a map, map, map operation. operation. Map operation. So every element get would come here, gets accumulated, gets accumulated, gets accumulated, and gets accumulated. Everyone remember this slide, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it a good yes. start? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Can you mark it as done? Yes. Yes. Done. This is done. This first slide is done, folks. Like that, we have approximately 14 slides. Next slide. Concentrate, folks. Concentrate. Ready? Yes. Yes. All good? Shall I get started? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Concept. Yes, well, list is still well, is equal to list of Zeobron. Zeobron, Zeo Analytics, huh? Zeobron. Zeo Analytics. Zeobron, Zeo and Analytics. Zeo Analytics. Zeo Analytics. List is dot for each print. For each folks, print. this is purely a normal list print. Yes. This is purely a normal list print. Yes, yes, this is a list I have. Now I have to iterate each element. I have to iterate each element, folks, and filter element contains gymnastics. Yeah. Well, well, fill STR. This is STR dot filter x lambda fill STR dot for each dot for each print So if you closely watch our books, just a quick thing, just a quick thing. We have to definitely perform the filter. If you see the filter, now the first element would come, gets filtered, get accumulated. Yes, I have it. Second element will come. Yes, condition is getting satisfied. Gets accumulated. Third, no, no Zayo. Nothing to accumulate. It's not satisfying the condition. So only Zayo and Zayabron have the word Zayo. So if you print this, I'll get the output as only Zayabron and Zayo. That's it. Clear all of you? Understood this slide? Yes. Sir. Yes. That's it. Yeah. This slide is done. I'm marking this as done. Fine, folks. Ready? Yes. yes. Done. Now the actual thing starts. I believe it's a good start, but concentrate, folks. Concentrate. Now the actual game starts. Text file. Now, I created some files, folks. Something known as rev data. Did you see some files here, all of yes. you? Yes. File 1, file 2, file 3, file 4, file 5, file 6. Folks, file 1 is a normal text file. 
file 2 is a normal text document. File 3 is a normal text file. File 4 is a JSON file. File 5 is what? Tell me. RK file. What about file 6? It is XML file. Okay, folks, getting my point? What I mean? All of you? Yes. yes. These files are going to be our revision data. Now, what this slide says, read file one as RDD and filter gymnastics rows. Rows contains gymnastics. Now, I have to add, now I need Spark to be in my place. Add the jars, do the imports and assign what? Tell me, assign the classes. Yeah. Done. All set. Now, I have to read the data. How to read the data? Well, file 1 is equal to sc.txt file. Right, folks? We have to use file. We have to use its text file method to read a file. File1.txt. File1. I want to see only first 10 rows. How to see only the first 10 rows? Take, Not take, 10. take, take 10. 10. Or 5 or 10. For each. For each dot. Folks, everybody is with me so far? Yes. yes. This is a raw data, folks. Raw data. File1.txt is a very raw data. Okay, let's take only 5, okay? Let's use only 5. Why to blabber the console? Check here. Yes, file, file rows. Now I have to get what? Tell me, only get what? Rows contains containing gym gymnastics. gymnastics. Well, gym data is equal to how to fit, iterate each row and file rows contains gymnastics. How to get that? Tell me. Filter. Filter. contains gymnastics. Gym data dot take five. Part. For each, printer. for each printer. For each printer. Are you clear with this, all of you? Yes. yes. Read the data, yes. gym data, for each printer. Then. Am I getting only the gymnastics rows? Yes or no, all of you? Yes. Yes. Gymnastics, gymnastics, gymnastics. So I took the file1.txt and filtered row contains gymnastics. Correct? All of you? Done. Can I mark this as done? All of you? Okay. Done. Next slide. Have Folks, next slide is quite a bigger slide. Analyze it well. Analyze it well. Sixth slide, okay? Understood, all of you? Yes. Yes, sir. The, they're asking us to create what? Tell me. Case, case, case class. class case, schema. Case class. Case class. Now, they're asking us to convert this. See, they're asking, I have category gymnastics. I don't want this. The slide says column-based filtering. Correct, all of you? Basically? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To achieve the column-based, you have to take this data what is what is the what is the commands we saw, folks? Tell me. Five How to achieve steps. this column based filters? Five five steps. Five steps. Correct. Five steps. We have to take this data, split this data, right? Split this data like this. Remember all of you. Yes, yeah? sir. Split the data. Define a case class. Thank impose you. the case class. Apply column filters. Yes. Right. Take this, take this data, right? And then 
apply apply the case class at the top id like mention the column names like trick transaction date amount customer number amount category like that we i'll mention some columns right then category product city state spend by i'll define it using case class then i'll impose this columns on top of this data and apply the necessary filters as well as column based yes sir no all of you basically yes sir hope you remember column based filters yes. right so go step by step create a case class where i have to create a case class outside main outside main method outside main method let me make it multi line okay case class schema let me make it multi line okay one minute transaction number string transaction transaction date string customer number string customer number amount category product city state spend by everybody is with me so far yes yes they mentioned all the columns now before i impose this schema what you have to do here can anyone tell me this split split map map, map. map split map, map split equal to gym data dot map of x lambda, lambda. X, x dot split of split of comma, comma. once it is done impose the schema val well, schema or well, dd is equal to map split, map split dot, 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 dot map dot, 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 map x lambda x zero x one zero one two three four five six seven eight that's it now zeroth index first index second third fourth fifth Five, six, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's it. Now this is our schema. Did now I want to apply filter on product column. Well, schema filter is equal to schema rdd dot filter x lambda x lambda x dot product contains gymnasium. Folks, everyone remember this schema RDD filters, yes, column sir. filters. Spelling yes. mistake, gymnastics. Oh, sorry, gymnastics. So schema dot filter dot take take of five. ten or five dot for each printer. Dot for each print. Folks, all of you remember this schema RDD column yes, filters. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So do the math split, create a schema at the top, impose the schema. column based filters you should connect every dot today folks yes or no product got the filters gymnastics yes done yes. i'll assign this also also done see here i created a case class imposed a case class convert into schema rtd filtered product contains gymnastics it is done shall we go to the next slide ready all of you Yes. Concentrate, folks. Yes, Next slide. Next slide is quite simple. Very damn simple. Two D F. Create data frame. They are asking convert this schema filter to a data frame. How to do it? Two D F. Two D F. That's it. That's it. Well, schema D F is equal to schema filter dot two D F. Two D F. That's it. Schema D F dot what? Dot show. Show. Folks, everybody is with me here. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going step by step, folks. Step by step, I'm going. Have a check. putting a print ln statements also here this is schema data frame schema rdd data frame 
let's show only five folks. I need only five rows. Let's not bug our console. I give just show off five. Got it, folks, all of you? Only five okay. rows. Only five mm -hmm. rows. Show off five. So finally, I took the first file, convert into schema RDD, filtered, and I converted it to a data file. All of you are clear? Everybody is with me? Yes? Yes. Yes, sir. It is done. Am I going good? Yes. yes. Revision is okay, okay? No? Sir, more than okay. <laughs> Let's go with the yep. next slide. Hardly we have eight more slides, folks. Right? Next slide. Tell me. Converting file to into row RDD. Seven step process. Define a structure and. No, 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 it's not so that complicated. No, 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 that's not the answer. Dot add. See, they're not asking that, folks. They're not asking about stuck type. They're not asking anything. They're just asking what? Read the file, convert it to what? Convert to raw. Uh, uh, very simple task. Very simple task. How to read it? Well, how to read it? Put that schema RDD data frame at the top, folks. Let it be at the top. Well, File 2 is equal to sc.txt file. Read file 2 first. Correct, all of you? Five. Yes. Very simple requirement, folks. File 2 dot. File okay. 2 dot. Hey, let's filter RDD. it. But anyway, let's print it. But I want to convert it into raw RDD. How to, before convert into raw RDD, what you have to do? Tell me. Stop Split. Type. Split. No. Split back. Not not struct type. Try to understand. I'm not talking about struct Four. type at all. Four. 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 Yeah, I put an import Four. at the top. I already put SQL of underscore. Row is already imported. Now do the map split first. Map split. Before converting to row RDD, you have to do what? Map it's split. split. Come. Map split row is done. Then convert it to what? Row? Oh, RDD. 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 Map split row dot map of x lambda x lambda row, row. Of, row of all the x of 0 and things. Correct all of you? Getting in point all of yes, you? Sir. That's it. This is what they're asking. Nothing so tough folks. They know we're talking about data frame. What they're asking? Read the second file. Convert it to row RDD. Which specifies a row here. Row. Now keep a mouse over on it. It gives a row of RDD. Make sense, all of you here? Yes. yes. Yeah. This is done. I'll put it as row RDD dot take five. Five for each. For each print element. Very simple requirement. They are not talking about data frame, stock type, nothing. Read the file, convert into row RDD. Work done. But before I convert into row RDD, what I did? I made a map split. That's it. So far, all good? All of you? Yes? Yes. Yes. This is schema data. This is schema data frame. What is this? Tell me. Row. Row RDD. Row RDD. Now, that's how that simple is. Read, say, file2.txt. Convert into row RDD. That's it. It is done. Very simple scenario, folks. Shall we go next, all of you? Ready? Yes, sir. No. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going a good okay face, right? Pace is fine, right? Yes. My explanation. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. yes. Next. Now tell me that word. Now struck type. <laughs> now tell me that word. Struck. Last from last five minutes. Struck type, struck type, struck type. This is the place where the struck type comes in. Convert a row RDD to a data frame. How can we convert a row RDD to a data frame? Can anyone tell me that? What we yes, have to de structure. define? Tell me. We have to define Struct type. Struct type. Seven type. steps. Check structure. here. Seven steps. Spark struct type. Right? Get that syntax out. 
If row RTD has to get converted into data frame, we need struct type. Place it over here. All right. And ensure you take the import of types. Types are mandatory to import. Now give your schema. Totally nine columns. Transaction number. Transaction, transaction number. date. Customer number. Customer number. Amount. Sorry, amount of customer number. Amount. Yeah. Customer number. Amount. Customer number. Amount. Category. Category. Category size. Product. Product. City. State. Spend by. Spend by. Spend by. Right, all of you? Correct? Yes. Now I read the data. I did a map split. Convert into row RDD. Defining a schema as row schema. How to convert a row RDD to a data frame? Can anyone tell me that? DF DF data. Frame. Yes. Row DF is row. equal to, right? Row DF is equal to spark dot create dot data frame. Create give the data row rdd give the row schema here this what 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 this will what this guy will do now tell me this I'm convert into a schema convert to... into a data frame. data frame now i want to print this data frame row let's DM. put print ln okay print ln row data frame print ln row df dot row df dot that's it, folks. Look out here. Everything is in the single line, single single screen. I read the data, and I have done a map split, and I have performed row RDD, defined struct type, converted it to a data frame, row DF of five. I'm showing only the five rows. Are you traveling with me, all of you? Yes. Right. This is schema RDD, folks. Schema RDD work started here. This is schema RDD work. This is row RDD work. Ready, folks? How many data frames we have so far? Tell me. Schema DF and row DF. DF. Quick thing. This we have done in schema DF. Schema DF. Create a data file. Filtered gymnastics, did a map split, defined case class at the top, convert into schema RTD, column-based filters, printing it, convert it to data frame, showed it. Row RDD, read the file, map split, row RDD I mean, uh, conversion, stuck type, created a data frame, Convert into data frame. Show the data frame. Are we going good? All of you? Paka? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, I can mark this slide is also as done. Because I got the raw data frame also ready. Done. Let's go for the next slide. Hardly we have six slides, folks. Concentrate. This is, come on. What is this? That's it, right? What is this slide? Is it not a state for slide, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. It's a state for slide. It's very state for slide. Well, file, well, CSV DF is equal to Spark dot read dot, read dot format, dot format. CSV. CSV. CSV dot, dot option header true. true dot load load give the path here file, file. colon d data rev data rev file three file three dot, dot txt CSV. actually that is txt it is in txt I think yeah, it is in txt format txt format that's okay. Format matters. CSVDF dot show. Understood all of you so far? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. yes. So 
This is straightforward slide. Nothing so tough. Very straightforward slide. But okay, let's show only five rows. Right? Let's get that print elements. Schema data, schema data frame, row data frame, CSV data. Yes, are we building our code one after other? Yes. Yes. Done. This is CSV data. Next, next slide. This is done. Next slide, folks. Concentrate. What he asked? Have to read the files. Have to read JSON and parquet. File read file four as JSON, file five as parquet. 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 Right. Show both the data. Print. Well, JSON DF is equal to, equal to spark. spark dot read dot read dot format. JSON. Dot option. Dot option. No options. Here. Okay. Five. This one data. Rev data file. File. Four dot four. This is JSON DF. JSON DF dot print line. That's it, folks. JSON DF. Now same applies for parquet okay. also. Par same applies for parquet also. Parquet, parquet DF. DF. Right? Format as parquet. parquet. File file dot. File file dot. Par. Let's show only five rows. But folks, do the par format is required for parquet? You tell me. Not, oh, Not required. Because default format is parquet. Right, all of you? Yes. 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 Straight away gives spark dot read dot load. If you don't give any format, by default, it will take it as parquet. So I'm going step by step, folks. First, I was ready with schema RDD. Then row RDD. Then CSV DF. Then JSON DF. Then Parquet DF. Look at that. Look at the code. Schema DF, row DF, CSV DF, JSON DF, Parquet DF. Are you traveling with me so far? Yes. yes. Next slide. From here, bit on toughness increases, complexity do increase a bit. Concentrate. Maybe XML is also there. Yeah. I make it. Read file six as XML and show the data frame. How can I read a file as an XML? Is it possible by default? Tell me. In build path, add the, add jars. the jars. Right click. I'll, I'll, go, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Build path. Configure build path. Libraries. Add external jars. Downloads. Spark hyphen XML. Jar. Apply and close. I added an extra jar because by default XML is not supported. Val XML DF is equal. Val XML DF is equal to spark dot read dot format of Let's see what is the row tag here. What is the start and end tag here? Can anyone tell me that? TX and data. TX and data is a row tag. Now dot option. Row tag. Row tag. Dot load. Dot load. Dot load. File. File. Just a file okay. six. There is no extension for file six. Dot. It's just a flat file. There is no extension for file. If you have C it as the file, it is a flat file. Yes. So file six. XML DF dot show. XML DF dot. 
folks hope you remember everything right now in a single day yes 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 voice revision okay okay going good right yes sir yes sir ఫస్ట్ ఫోక్స్ స్కీమా డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ రోడ్ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ సిఎస్వి డిఎఫ్ జేసన్ డిఎఫ్ పార్కే డిఎఫ్ ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ డిఎఫ్ ఆర్ వి గోయింగ్ గుడ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ దిస్ వన్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో డన్ నెక్స్ట్ కమ్స్ క్వైట్ అ బిగ్గర్ వన్ concentrate what does this slide says call one all two okay folks i like i would like to ask you one question concentrate folks folks is this my schema df correct yes yes this my schema df row df json csv df i know i'm spending time but it worth it please concentrate this is csv df this is json df this is parke df this is xml df all of you are clear so far at least yeah yes yes sir this is xml df now i'd like to ask a question that's the reason i spend more time on this now actually these many data frames i have folks now tell me what they are asking us to do is they want us to union all the data frames you got the point what is union mean all of you actually union all the data frames like this like this combine all the data frames at a stretch understood or not all of you yes yes union all the data frames union all the data frames one after other one after other they need it in a single data frame with all the data in a single data frame right and combining all the data frames at a one after the one after the segregated which is we call it as union but what is a major issue here did you see any issues in this data frames column names column names are not data types are not ordered i'll show you folks this is green absolutely this is green this is also green this is also green but json df is in red parke df is fine xml df is red i union might work but this is a wrong data why what is the issue you see in json df tell me column names exactly order of the columns can you see the order of the columns all of you yes yes, yes. folks all the data frames are having one type of column transaction number and everything 
right? But this guy's columns are quite not ordered. Yes or no? Basically. Yes, and Parquet DF is looking fine. But again, XML DF is not looking. Correct? All of you? Yes. Again, XML DF is not looking. So what if you ask me what is the problem here? If you union this unnecessarily, amount data will go to transaction column. Understood what I mean? All of you? If you uh, amount, see, I can able to club and union all these data frames. But the max, the major issue is amount data, amount column data will go to which column? Tell me. Transaction. 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 Which Transaction. is of wrong, yes or no? Wrong column yes. mapping will happen. Correct? All of you? Yes. Getting it or not? And yes. category will go to transaction. I have to com combine all the all the data. Union will work, but wrong data column will happen. I have transaction number somewhere. I need this data to go here. How that is possible? That's the reason what they asked us to do. Tell me. Undefined column. Unified De column. Define, Define a column. unified column, column list. And impose that using what? Tell me. For all Select. data Select. frames. Select for all. What we are going to do. Check here, folks. Check here. Define a unified column list, folks. That's what it says. Define a unified column list. Val call list is equal to give. You remember today we saw that scenario? Yes, sir. All of you? Yes, sir. Give that unified column list. Transaction number, transaction, transaction date, date customer, number, customer number, amount, amount category. Almost done, folks. This is a maximum issue. If we solve this, Next two slides are just processing filters and write. Product. 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 City. City. State. State spend by. State. So, state and spend by. Now, this is done. Now, I want to take this call list, impose that to all the data frames. I want to impose this to all the data frames. How can I impose it to the data frame? This a folks, is this a way? Is this a place where the data frame got created? Yes or no? Right? Basically. Yes. Here, just put the select. Everywhere, just put the select. Call list dot map of call colon underscore star. Underscore star. That's it. Put this everywhere when the data frame is getting created. Put this here. Exactly place of data frame creation. Ex exactly put at the at the data frame creation. I'm putting at the last of data frame creation. Data frame creation. Everywhere I put at the end of data frame creation. Can you see that all of you? I put select. Yes. So okay. what will happen? Data will be read. And the columns will be segregated according to the list I have provided. Got the point, all of you? What I mean? Yes? Yes. I gave the call list here and started mapping the call list every data frame just to ensure no change in the order. Check here, folks. Schema RDD starts with transaction number and spend by. Row RDD starts with the transaction number and ends with spend by. CSVDF, transaction number and spend by. JSON DF, you remember we had an issue before? Yes. All of you? Yes. Solved. Yeah, then, Parquet DF, transaction number and spend by. XML DF, we have used to have an issue. Is it solved now? Proper order? Yes. 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 So, I made all the columns, data frames, to have a unique column, I mentioned a call list and I mapped all the data frames in the creation. Select. Select. At the end, select. Put. And finally, I got all the data frames. Done. 
Now, once I got all the data frames, what they're asking us to do? Tell me. Union. Union. Union of, union of the data frames. Well, union DF union. is equal to schema DF dot union. union. Row DF dot union. CSV DF dot union. Parquet DF, DF union. Dot union of JSON DF. Yes, Dot union of Dot union of XML. XML DF. Pakka, all of you? Everyone understood this? Yes. yes. Union DF. Yes. Dot. All of you with me? So, In the yeah. Yes. Done. So, folks, I'm carefully going very slow. One after other. One after other. Right? So look at the code, folks. First, I defined the list, schema DF. When I convert into data frame, I got that into a proper list. File 2, got into a proper list. File 3, CSV DF, got into a proper list. JSON DF, at the end, I got the proper list of columns. Parquet DF, XML DF, Union DF. Finally, we got the Union DF results also. Is this our Union DF? I'm showing only top five rows. Yes, sir. No, all of you. Yes. Yes. Folks, everybody is with me or not? Yes. yes. yes sir. No. Yes. Getting it or not? All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So done. Last two slides, folks. Last two slides. Two or three. Yes, sir. Understood? All of you? Yes. Yes, sir. From union sir. DF, get year from transaction date. How we processed it? Can anyone tell me that? With column. With column. With column. With column. With column and columns. Well, prop DF is equal to union DF, union DF dot, 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 dot with column. 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 Transaction date. Transaction date. Comma. Express. Split of, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Transaction date, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Transaction date, split with hyphen, take the index two. Now, that's fine. We took the year from transaction date. What they're asking us to do? Rename it as? Yes. Yeah. Rename it Column. No, no. Not with column rename. Column rename. Transaction date with? Transaction date. Yeah. 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 That's it. And what they asked, tell me, add one column in the last. Add one column. What does that mean? Status. One for cash. One for zero for credit. S one. Dot with column. Column. Status. Status. Expr. Case. Case, when case when spend case by is when equal to I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll take, I'll tell, I'll go, I'll go. Spend by is equal to cash, then one. Else zero end. That's it. Credit as zero for credit. We have only cash and credit, so directly go with else, right? Okay, one for cash, zero for credit, in spend by. This is also done. What's the last one? Tell me. Filter transaction number transaction. Greater, than greater than greater than dot filter call of Hello. transaction number greater than fifty thousand. This is your prop DF. Prop DF. Right? This is your prop DF. Prop DF dot show. Check on, folks. Check on. Right? Everything, I'm just taking everything and summing up in a single session. We saw expressions. We, we saw rename. 
check schema data frame row data frame csv data frame json data frame parquet data frame xml data frame union data frame prop data frame we got the year we got the status column right credit is zero cash is one we got the filter also makes sense or not all of you do that make sense to all of us yes. here yes yes yeah. yes filter sir. has happened greater than 50 year was found done status zero one one for cash zero for credit last slide shall i make it as done all of you Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll add one more. I'll add one more. One minute. Tell me. Aggregation. 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 Right? Aggregation. Well, AGGDF is equal to take the prop DF. Right? No. They're asking cumulative sum of amount for each category. What, what undergoes group by? Tell me. Category. 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 Dot dot yeah. aggregate of aggregate sum of, of, sum of, 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 of as total as just give oh, okay cast we have to give the cast right cast into cast integer done aggregate df dot show that's it we uh, show the sorry yeah sure. Five is not required because hardly we have very less number of categories. So this is aggregate DF. Right? Again, check here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Schema DF. Schema DF. Row DF. CSV DF. JSON DF. Parquet DF. XML DF. Union DF. Proc DF. Aggregate DF. Can you see the aggregations of total? All yes. of you here? Yes. yes. For each category? Yes, sir. Done. This is also done. Last slide. Mode may not be required for now. Just tell me, write it as parquet. How to write the data frame into a parquet? Can anyone tell me? Write park. Write park. Write. park dot. Aggregate df dot. Df dot. Aggregate df. Write dot. dot. Format dot. dot. Format will be parquet. Dot, dot save. Dot save. Location. Okay, let's write it as CSV, folks, so that you'll understand that. All right. Constant here, folks. Rev park out. Rev. That's, that's it, folks. All, oh, sorry, all rev CSV. Yeah. That's it. The revision is over. How was it, folks? Joints, you already know. You have the custom prod, create all the joints, folks. Inner, left, right, outer, and ante. Can you create that, all of you? Yes. Okay. So this is a complete revision. How was the revision, folks? And was connected yes. all the dots? Yes, sir. Yes. Awesome, awesome. yes, sir. The task is right. Done, yes, folks. And if you go back and check. You will see rev CSV out. Oh, oh, we got so many CSVs now. Okay. Sorry.
we got so many csvs let me add a coles one dot coles one folks next week we are going to start with complex data processing and we have an interaction session with previous batch folks i'm repeating my point whoever skip a session that video recordings is hard to provide you might think those who skip only should get a recording right sometimes giving a recording is becoming a reason to skip we are very serious about batch 37 who skips will not provide any assistance or services going forward anything anything will not even no surprise if i don't let you join also so folks ensure on that is this our process data folks finally yes we got it as a file no. but i am not going to give this as a right for now many folks having the right issues i am just commenting it out if required do it or else don't do it enter revision code folks possible to complete the task of revision this right now itself today today okay sir yes sir, yes, sir. complete yes, this yes, yes. now a quick update from now on i'll post a scenario day to day at least alternate days or daily i'll post one one scenarios data set input and output possible to solve that all of you yes yes, yes sir yes sir i give yes, the sir. solution an explanation also but i'll give the data set and a requirement expected input and output right so ensure that is not getting missed sorry folks to extend the time give me a minute no problem sir revision sessions are always bigger sessions folks right why i am talking about that is next week we are going to start a complex data processing right that that's the major thing which actually connect like in with respect to the interviews hardly we have two weeks time folks complete the revisions today get ready to solve the scenarios from tomorrow i'll send the data set as well as the code revision. if possible worst case it is code or else i'll also send you the expected output i'll post mostly day to day or alternative days so this is the revision code folks possible to complete it today itself right now yes. itself but my kind request place your data properly many folks don't do it come up with path does not exist place your data properly read the data properly change the path accordingly place the data properly and read the data change path accordingly in the code please folks many folks are still not doing it yeah complete the revision task folks today next week let's i'll come i'll come on one minute next week we are going to start with complex data processing very important concept next week let's have an interaction session with recently got placed off of folks so that you'll get an idea how they start and how they end you'll definitely need lot of commitment for the next two weeks kindly consider folks thanks all of you Five i believe i give all the code please share the ppt as well ppt right? sorry the share. pocket file is, i'm unable to save it on uh, the text file or rather the use whatsapp web use whatsapp web use whatsapp web please use whatsapp web please not working in i'm using whatsapp web actually not working whatsapp not working one second 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 this is a parquet file right one second showing file 5 and 5 okay anyway hold on hold on hold on i'll give you the download links don't worry i'll give you the download links directly i'll give you the link for lab folks also it, it got downloaded but anyway i'll give the download links if you are facing issues and one minute Can you give it in zoom chat file 5 and 6 I gave all the files. Zoom chat.
it's loading complete the revision task immediately let's meet for a session next week folks hope you enjoyed the revision session today you can leave those who are doubts stay back thank you all of you thank you thank you all of you just give me a minute i'll be back folks thank you when i have
Yeah, go ahead, folks. Sorry, it took a long break because I was on who talking long time, right? Go ahead, Sai. Sure. Ah, uh, Sai, so like uh, in the PPT, you shown the transaction uh, slide that fifty thousand greater than fifty thousand. So we applied filter there at the last transformation. Is it a good idea to apply in the first or no, last? No, first what we have, we need to understand is either the order you give, okay. Spark will order it which are the better efficiencies because Spark do its auto automation. First, uh -huh. which are the better Spark will do automatically because that's what the logical thinking, right? Logical plan. Internally it will, okay. Internally okay. it will, which are the order you give. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sai, Sri Vidya. Uh, Sai, uh, you used to collage to uh, uh, put everything in a single file, right, uh, Sai? Uh, so you usually we need to see the topic, but anyway, tell. Okay, but in, uh, no, I'm just confused because we uh, in uh, in collage we have in SQL to replace no, the. That's different. That's different. This okay. is the partition collage. That's a null collage. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Sai. Thanks. Thank you. Shaila. Uh, Sai. Actually, I tried the join side, but I don't know whether I can try to join. Will you just check the code? Check, check, check. Yeah, One minute, please. Here, I got nulling. Snow, so I mean, please, I mean, please. Making data ready. Many folks could not download that. Yes, sir. File 6 is also notable to download. Uh, that XML file is showing us unknown types. You need not to read it. You need not to read it. You can directly go with the read with Spark. Sai, that XML yes, file is unable to download from the... Yeah, download issue I can, but if anyone is trying to open it, don't open it. No need to open it, actually. You can directly go with the Spark. Spark reads. Sai, actually from Zoom chat, that file is working, Sai. I, I'm yeah, yeah, to... no, but I create... A... <laughs> yes, for me also from Zoom chat. Yeah, yeah. Many folks should have already left by, by the time I told. But I'll simplify it. Where there is a problem, there is a solution. One minute. Creating a links box. Need exactly two minutes. Chitranjan, you also have your setup ready, please. Add. Uh, yep. Hey, Sai. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have the setup ready. I'm coming. I feel like I showed it a lot today. Sai? 
Yes. Yes. Coming, 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 coming. Yes, I actually I heard like you call my name. No, no, shall I didn't. Okay. Okay. Is five one five two five three five four five 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 six huh? Oh, A P South one. Data plus is three percent. Five so calculator. How many hours per week? One sixty hours a week. One sixty eight and two sixteen sixty. So zero for eight double zero. I need to be at speed. File four dot JSON. File five dot parquet. Last one file six, right? File five, file six, perfect. All this working. All are working fine. Ah, file links, revision data links. Yeah, post it now. Click that link, automatically it gets downloaded. Thank you. Go ahead, Shell. Yeah, that's what Zai. Yesterday we did it with Proud and Proud One. Give the access. Yeah. I, I don't know like how to solve this ID with null. The problem is in Proud One, I have a different column. Yeah. Like, like, should I include any code to solve that problem? No, what is the problem? Like here, the last uh, full join with no common column, there I find null, null and laptop. And even with the right join, like, can I do this? The problem in the data set is, like, can you show me the data set? Data set, it's above, sign. like the raw data mm -hmm. where I store. Uh, raw data, raw data. Where is the raw data? The data file containers, Spark data file containers. See? Actually, you can go with the side, uh, left side, uh, the quick access, Spark data file containers. Yeah, that one. The raw data, everything I saved here. What is this? What is this empty line, Shaila? Like, I don't know, sir. I just saved it from the WhatsApp. No, what? No, no. 
See, prod one is different, right? Prod one is T date, right? T I D. Yeah. Like yesterday we tried this. No, oh, I know that we tried, but. Uh... You now my one doubt is like, can we do right join with this data set? See, we got perfect now. Can you see that? Okay. It's a yeah. data set space issue. Okay. Okay. But, but... this is a right join, no column. See, this is a data site itself. Where is it full join? You are doing a prod one. Where is prod one? Like above. See. DF2. Prod one dot show. Yeah. No, send me the two data sets. I think there is a data set level and send me this code shell. I'll execute once between some of them. Once I get some relaxation of the one, I'll execute and send it to you. But brain is not completely working. Yeah. Okay. Send okay. the data sets in the code. I'll execute in my local and share it to you. Chitranjan? Yep. I share my screen. So I just need one uh, test. Give me the access. Give me the access. Which uh, very simple. Chain this library container to 2.11. That's it. That's the only thing it is causing. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's it. Everything so so work normally. Okay. Yeah, rest I can do my own. First, yeah. we, by, if it got reset to two point twelve, build path configure build path. Okay. Edit two point eleven bundle. Finish. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vidya Sagar. Sending the PPT, Vidya Sagar. I'm yeah. sending it in the. Yeah, got, got it, sir. Send it already. So, like, sir, we are writing that uh, file to CSV now. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the output. It's opening in the CSV format. But why can't we get the headers, sir? Make it header true in the right. Option header true. Okay. Option header true. It will get headers. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, so, if we want to read that CSV, we need to give that path file, right? Again, to if you want to read that. Yes, yes, so you have to read it again. Uh, right. We need to give the part to file total name, right? Not required. Just give a folder name. That's enough. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Tradition. Yes, I executed the revision code. I uh, All files are running, but file 6 uh, is making error. Share your screen. Don't show me path is not error. I put it all in one path only. Show me, show me. Here I put uh, file six. Give me the access. This will work okay. So, just a copy paste issue. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Meet you next week.